Hello, everybody. This is Eddie Firth. And this is Ryan Pig. And tonight in this world, we roast the most terrifying horror movie villains ever. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Who's on the lineup tonight? <laughs> you thought long and hard about what you were going to say. No, I didn't. We're that roasting was, That horror, was all of my improv uh, in one second. Horror villain people. Uh, we have an incredible lineup Who tonight. Who's here? You guys are going to see Alex Hooper. Yeah, give it up. Michael DeBay's here. Keep on going. Brandy Posey. <laughs> Heather Ann Campbell's here. Hampton Ute. And Matt, and Matt McCarthy. Give it up, guys. That's a yeah. hell of a show. These are true. I feel it. These are true horror villains. They can handle anything. Wait, you think they're horror villains? Horror. <laughs> I could stumble over. <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, not horror villains. I think they're horror movie fans. I don't think these people are horror villains. Okay, whatever. PC <laughs> techni technicalities over here. Uh, I, I was. I mean, I'm. I walked backstage and I was scared to death. There it is some a, scary it's a people very back scary there. Tech room right now. I, don't know if you guys I was glad to get out of there. You guys don't know what you're in. You're getting into right now. This is. You're gonna all piss your pants. Have, did you go to the bathroom before? From laughter, <laughs> yeah. Someone's like, I'm into pissing, yeah. Uh, Where are you going with this? I don't know. I think you're. <laughs> I think well, you're let wait, wait, wait. Let's see what happens. I think you're supposed to ask me something. I'm <laughs> waiting for the break. Keep going. This what is about all pissing? break. This is all just a break. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, what so to prepare for things like fictional roast yes. and historical roast, we have to do a lot of research. In this case, it's watching horror movies, and of course, the most popular one in the, in the world right now is it. it. Did you get a chance to see it? It. Yes, I did. I saw it twice. I'm glad you said it after I did. Otherwise, they wouldn't have known what we were talking they about. They needed to know that you weren't referring to something you weren't saying the title of. <laughs> it, it, it. Yeah. It. Did you I see it? I saw it twice. Thank you, Movie Pass. Uh, <laughs> were you All as of them are representatives. Were you as scared the second time as you were the first time? Okay, so here's something that I'm sure some of you noticed. When that one guy's studying the library, there's a librarian just like, like scaring the shit and only some people notice it so like the first time i saw it, i was like did you see that and they're like see what <laughs> 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 i forgot about the movie i was just like am i seeing things mm -hmm. so that was pretty scary yeah the first time it was the scariest and weirder the second time i didn't notice the librarian <laughs> and my girlfriend was like did you see that i'm like oh sh sh okay <laughs> So I'm not crazy. Uh, did you see it? Oh, I, got, I loved that movie. That was awesome. It's so great, right? I, I thought it was suspenseful and scary, but I, I have to be quite honest. <laughs> no. <a few laughs> it wasn't, Eddie. Who <laughs> said it wasn't scary? Who says it wasn't scary? <laughs> Will you protect me later tonight? Because it's going to get... I really hope it's your girlfriend. <laughs> she was, I'll be honest. My girlfriend took some of the tension out of the movie. Because she got so scared that she would jump right before something was happening, and I would look over, and then it would happen. And I'm like, damn it, that, did that happen to you guys? You, and look, it's not, I mean, I did thought about seeing it a second time on my own. I did consider it. <laughs> did you see it twice because of that? Once. You wanted to, yeah. <laughs> I saw Happy Death Day instead. How, how was that? That was a lot of fun. Like that yeah. movie, I recommend Happy Death Day, but it is exactly what you think it is. It is Groundhog Day, but she gets killed at the end of it every day. And Bill Murray doesn't make a cameo in this. Not, not specifically is what I'll say. He does not show up in the movie, but mm -hmm. it's not to say there isn't some sort of Groundhog Day-ish cameo. Can I, I mean, can I spoil it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not a good room to spoil it in. All right, well, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, no. Uh, no, I love that. That was a very cool. It was a good one. I recommend Happy Death Day. But it, it, it didn't scare you though. You were yeah, right. man, it, it was very. It was very suspenseful. So you're scared of? I'm. See, for me, just living the same day over and over. Like Groundhog Day alone was a scary horror film. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what I learned the piano and then what. Uh. <laughs> um, I mean, I scare easily. Uh, the what number you, wh when you were a kid, what were you most afraid of? Because Pennywise would take on the form of what you were most afraid of the only nightmare i remember having and i had it a few times apparently was darth maul chasing me around a playground just darth maul it's, uh, in broad daylight other friends are like laughing at me but darth maul is very serious about getting me and i had that dream several times i have never spoken to a therapist about it oh it's definitely father issues that has something to do with your dad i mean don't <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> my brother's <laughs> laughing <laughs> <laughs> he said that, that means it's true then i <laughs> mean 
<laughs> you just saved like six months of therapy. It's your dad. Like you're my dad. Yeah. Uh, what about you? What are you scared of? I, I already know. I had a really odd. W- uh, I had a, when I was a kid. I had a really odd fear. I grew up in Connecticut, and there were a lot of woods. Um, I don't think this helps translate, but I was. I hated walking by a window at night. <laughs> it gets weird. <laughs> Because I legitimately thought someone was going to shoot me with a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was the thing, but I was like, I, like, I would see a window and I'd like rush past it. And I'd be like, good, no one shot me with a bow and arrow this time. Did you not realize that bow and arrows usually don't go through windows? I it's look really it, sharp. None of it was logical, but I was deathly afraid. I, th- I swore, I was like, one day someone's just going to get me with a bow and arrow through that window at night. I'm going to one-up Eddie. Uh, <laughs> something even more logical that he's afraid of. We went to Hollywood Horror Nights at Universal Studios. Have you guys been? The mazes? So, so two people. So two people. <laughs> You'll definitely gone. relate to this. This is a perfect story for you guys. Uh, he, we're walking through the maze, and Eddie's <laughs> freaking out at everything. Like, ah! Oh! Ah! God! <laughs> literally, the, there's just one small room, and it, it was. we went to this maze three times, and every time he freaked out of an employee doing this. <laughs> Look, this every time, and I knew it was, he knew it was coming. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't even the characters dressed up who were trying to scare me. It was the employee who was just directing you to the next room because the, the like the lifeless, soulless look in their eyes <laughs> of just, it just, it terrified me every you were, single time. You were freaked out the rest of the night. <laughs> you, like, got into an Uber. Ah! <laughs> one of our friends, one of my friends at, who was at the same, who was there that night, would just come run up to us in line and scream, oh, my God, Eddie Firth, and I would fucking jump. like Polo and shorts would scare <laughs> the shit out of this guy. Oh, it's a scary fucking place to go. Be careful if you go to horror nights. Watch out for those employees. And just directing you to the next room. That's terrifying, you know? So out of of all the horror movies you've seen, what's your favorite horror movie? I really, I really liked it. Follow, it's new, but I liked it. Follows a lot. What's the, I've not seen it. It what's follows it? is literally, and I saw it. I saw it in a theater, and I was with a friend, and I just like it basically. There's always a creature following you. It's like an entity that just wants to kill you once you've had sex. It's like uh, they just show it in health class for like you shouldn't mm. have sex. Here's the it follows. <laughs> oh, oh God. Did no pregnancies, nothing like that's <laughs> that should be GOP. Like that's what they should just get behind. It follows. <laughs> uh, no, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, you should watch it. I, it I won't follows. ruin it. Who is in it? it? That's the great thing. It's like no it's one like really. No f- oh, okay. It looks like normal people. The guy from Atypical. The guy from Atypical's in it. If oh you even yeah, 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 yeah. I saw something like one of the YouTube videos I watched today had had a clip from it. Follows. It was like uh, like the ten. Ten times horror movies got real or some shit like that. <laughs> you guys watch any of those? Yeah, no, no, no. YouTube is <laughs> full of inane lists. So what's your sca- what's this movie that scared you the most? What's the scary movie you like? Middle School. That fucking terrified me when I was younger. I haven't seen that one. Um, no, I think I have two. I have two horror movies that kind of are at the top for me. I have to say, in an odd way, a movie that I can watch over and over again is The Shining. Uh, right? I love The Shining. Yeah. Real tepid. You guys loved It Follows, though. Same person. Fucking eh. weird taste. You're out of touch, Eddie. The Shining, I guess. <laughs> Stanley Kubrick did harass it? Shelley Duvall, but we'll we'll get behind The Shining. Yeah. Wait, who's in it? Uh, some no-names. Yeah, people I'll you never heard I've of. I've never heard of any. This weird there. kid with a broken finger. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> You understand we can't see you from up here. That was terrifying. It's an employee from Universal. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) It's just a voice coming from the void. Don't do that at all. What the fuck? Why would you do that? I I would call security to escort you out, but we don't have any here. (laughs) Don't tell them that. It's going to be anarchy. Uh, I think The Shining was number one, but do you know what movie, like, scared the shit out of me? The Blair Witch Project. Yes, thank you, thank oh you. Oh God, the cricket started that exact. Thank second. you for the. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. 
I was I was at an age when that movie came out where I 100% believed that the Blair Witch Project was real. <laughs> like, no uncertain terms. My friend and I went being like, no, seriously, this is a documentary about some people got lost in the woods. Like, it w- and I, I can't pass a pile of rocks in the woods now without freaking out. And if there's, like, a bundle of sticks, like, that's worse than a universal employee to me. <laughs> if I just see a pile of sticks, like, I fucking run in the other direction. I can't. It's... That movie terrified me. Just a pile of sticks. Oh my god! I, I employees and a pile of sticks. I can't. A pile of sticks freaks me the guy. fuck. Out. Like there's no no like a pile because that's like that's a psychological thing. Like the pile of sticks isn't like I'm gonna kill you. It's like we're just watching. We'll wait. Here's a pile of sticks. You're amazing. I love <laughs> going to haunted things with this guy. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. It's like going with a kid. I guess we should we should bring out our Let's guests bring of out honor. The real then. scary ones. You want to start it off? All right. Uh, here are some people who are not scared of piles of sticks. Welcome to the stage from the exorcist, Reagan. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring out Freddy Krueger. And from the number one movie in the world, please welcome from It, Pennywise. Jesus. Good Lord. (laughs) Don't take that. That's not, yeah, that's not a good good thing. thing. You don't want to do that. 